Welcome to Satish Science Teacher YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the book back evaluations from Standard 7, Term 1, Science Book Unit 5, Reproduction and Modification in Plants. If you are tuning first time in this YouTube channel, please do subscribe and do share with your friends. And also don't forget to press the bell icon which is next to the subscribe button. Then only you will get all the notifications from us as soon as released. Ouch! Okay, let's see the book back evaluation from this lesson. Before going to the evaluations, some points about this lesson. This lesson is deals about the types of reproduction in plants and what are the modifications are happening and occurring in the plants. So there are two types of reproduction in plants. One is the asexual reproduction, another one is sexual reproduction. In the sexual reproductions, the reproduction is achieved by the interaction of male and female part of the flower. The male part of the flower is andesium. And the female part of the flower is gynecium. So with the help of these male and female reproductive parts of the flower involves in the reproduction that is known as sexual reproduction. If it is a reproduction which is not involved in the flower or flower parts then the reproduction is said to be a sexual reproduction that is achieved by stem or leaves other than the flower seeds. Okay. And what are the modifications in plants? In the all over the plants, some of the plants leaves are modified into spines or or a thread-like structure that is known as tendrils. And some of the plants, the stems are modified into horny, thorny, like that. So there are a lot of modifications in plants that you can that you may be aware of that. So okay, let's see the book back evaluations from this lesson. Choose the appropriate answer section. Vegetative propagation by leaves takes place in bryophyllum. The bryophyllum is one of the plant in which the leaves are involving in the reproduction. That means the in the edge of the leaf, the new plants are evolved as a tiny like tiny creatures. So vegetative propagation by leaves takes place in bryophyllum. Asexual reproduction in yeast is achieved by budding. Reproductive part of a plant is flower. So in the flower, there is a male part and female part. So the flower is known as the reproductive part of the plant. Pollinators are pollinators means the agents that involves for the pollination. They are known as pollinators. So wind, water and insect are the pollinators. So the answer is for this question is all the above. Climbing roots are seen in beetle and black pepper. So please, uh, like this type of questions carries uh, beat, uh, two correct answers and uh, the third one is represents the both of the above and the fourth one is none of the above. So please you should always read the answers first then only the third option. So climbing roots are seen in beetle and black pepper. So the answer is both of them. So you should know about what are the uh, examples for climbing roots that is beetle and black pepper. Then only you will go for both of them. Okay. Next, fill in the blank section. The male reproductive part of your flower is andesium. Ovary is the basal swollen part of the gynesium. After fertilization, the ovule becomes seeds. Breathing roots are seen in mangroves. Breathing roots are seen in mangroves. Onion and garlic are examples of bulb. So that's all about the fill in the blank section. Next one is true or false. Say true or false if false correct the statement. A complete flower has a four holes. World, that means true. Sepal, petal, andesium and gynesium. The transfer of pollen to stigma is known as the pollination. True. Conical shaped root is carrot. It is also true statement. Ginger is an underground root. It is a false statement. So ginger is an underground stem. Leaves of aloe vera are fleshy and store water. True. The next one is match the following. The petals are the attractive parts of the uh, flower that attracts the insects. Fern, fern, fern is nothing but the plant that involves the spore formation. So the answer for the fern is spore. And the third one is philoclade. Philoclade is present in the open shear. Here the stem and leaves are modified as a thick fleshy like structure that is known as philoclade. And hooks are found in bygonia. So in bygonia plant, the stems have the spines and hooks. Okay, sucker, sucker is found in chrysanthemum plant. 
so the answer is for that is suckers or chrysanthemum and write two types of reproduction in plants write two types of reproduction in plants so answer for this question is in plants there are two types of reproduction in plants there are two types of reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction and the second question is what are the two important parts of flower andrisium and gynesium so the answer for this is andrisium and gynesium see the answer the male reproductive organ of the flower is andrisium and the female reproductive organ of your flower is gynesium and the third one define pollination so transfer of pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma is called pollination there are two types of pollination self pollination and cross pollination and the fourth one what are the agents of pollination agents like wind water insects and animals are helpful for pollination and are known as pollinators so answer is wind water insects and animals and fifth one give examples for corn and tuber for corn colocasia colocasia is example for the tuber example is potato what is tendril sixth one what is tendrils In climbers, the leaf of a plant are modified into elongated structure to help the plants climb efficiently is known as tendril. So, six, for the uh, sixth question, answer is here. In climbers, the leaf of a plant are modified into elongated structure to help the plants climb efficiently is known as tendrils. What are thorns? The sharp pointed woody outgrowths from a trunk are thorns. So thorns are nothing but the sharp pointed woody outgrowths from the trunk are thorns. So example for thorns are rose plant. In a rose plant there are sharp pointed horny, very very hard horny spines are there. They are actually the outgrowths of wood trunk. So this is known as thorns. So this uh, rose plant is the example for thorns. The sharp pointed woody outgrowths from the trunk are thorns. Example rose plant. And the next one, label the pictures given below. And the first one is stigma. And the second one, which is this region, is known as tile region. S T Y L E style. And the third one, third one is the ovary. See, this is the ovary. So, the answer for this is ovary. O, V, A, R, Y, ovary. The next one is the black one is the ovule. Inside the ovary, ovules are present. The ovules are developed into a seeds. So, ovule. And uh, this is the petal of the flower. So the answer for this is petal P E T A L petal. And uh, the black beads like structure is known as the anther. So anther A. Anther. and the next one is the base of the anther so otherwise known as stamen so what do you know that stamen so stamen and the last one is the green part of the flower is the sepal so s e p a sepal so i will take apology for my handwriting so sepal and identify the four plants shown in the following table name the different modification of them so garlic garlic's the underground stem is modified into a pulp that is a garlic cloves okay 
turnip tap root modified for storage rose plant the spines from the trunk is the modification in rose plant and maize maize there is adventitious roots that arises from the stem node uh, the one more example for the adventitious roots from the stem node is sugar cane okay so that's all about the modifications so that's all about the book pack evaluations from this lesson students so thanks for listening and do study very well and don't forget to any question with answers that helps to improve the memory okay so if you are joining first time in this youtube channel please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon in which all option and don't forget to share with your friends so thanks for listening students thank you